Hey guys, so today I'm going to be making a cake. <laughs> so I'm gonna be making this white velvet cake. I got off Pinterest, I will link it down below, and then a bakery style vanilla frosting. And you might be asking yourself, what is this cake for? I don't know. <laughs> I was craving a cake and I wanted to make one. I don't think I need a reason. <laughs> I'm definitely not gonna eat this alone in my room at three in the morning. So yeah, let's just get straight into it. <laughs> okay, so the first instruction is to sift together flour, baking soda, baking powder, salt, and sugar. Okay, couldn't do about that. Baking is science, right? So I'm horrible at science, so this should go great. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, I'm so glad my mom is out of town. She would kill me. I don't even think you can see, but it's like spilling all down the side. Okay. Man, why can't I do math? This would be so much easier if I could do math. Summer going. I'm great. I just finished my online class. You probably can't hear a word I'm saying. <laughs> now, in another bowl, we're going to be putting all our wet ingredients. And this angle is very unflattering, but I felt like the other angle was way too high up, so. I don't know, we'll see. In a bowl with an electric mixer, beat together vegetable oil, okay. And we need two thirds cup, one, two, okay. And then we need one third cup vegetable shortening at room temperature. Done with that. Don't quite know what to do with this. Oh, that's why it comes with this handy dandy little container. So you can close your little animal lard back up. Next, oh, it's on my hand. It's all oily. Ooh. Okay. Three tablespoons vanilla extract. Got my baker's extract. Um, how many? Three tablespoons. That's the big baby. Got it. Okay. One. Oh gosh. <laughs> Two. Three. Beat together until light and fluffy. Let's begin. Oh gosh. Oh no. Oh no. It's flying everywhere. Oh gosh. I don't know if that's the right cons cons consistency, <laughs> consistency, but we're going with it. Seems lighter and fluffier than what I had before. Okay, so now we need to mix in the three large eggs one at a time. Oh gosh. Two. Consistency is whatever that is. So now we're gonna add in the dry ingredients with alternately with the buttermilk. So that mean like once I dr add gr dry ingredients, then I add the buttermilk. I think that's what that means. <laughs> I didn't just spill it on the counter. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> okay. So folding in the dry ingredients. So let's put some of the dry stuff there. Okay, the batter's done. So now I'm going to pour it into these pans. Let me get my 
tripod. <laughs> Okay, now while that's in the oven, we're gonna start on the frosting. And I have a recipe here, once again, that I'm going to pretty much take and use. I need one cup unsalted butter. <laughs> Ignore how this looks, but I was just taking off the thing because I used this to grease the pans. One cup. I'm assuming one cup is one stick, correct? Oh no, this is half a cup. Oh no, that's a lot of butter. Okay. Let me go get the other one. Okay, so you need two sticks of butter, one cup vegetable shortening, five. Uh, this is from metrics to American, so it's 5.21 cups, which I guess you could just round to five cups and then one fourth. Um, one fourth cup hot water, two tablespoons cornstarch, two tablespoons vanilla, and 0.25 tablespoons salt. So, let me get first. Oh, it's so pretty outside. Oh my gosh, I have to show you. <laughs> outside right now, I don't know why, but it's like a weird lighting. I, I, I think because there's like a storm coming. Ooh, look at those clouds, girl. Ooh. Oh, man, it's so pretty out. But I'm in here baking my own cake for me. Literally, just me. I have a measuring cup, my bobber there. And I'm going to fill this with. What? <laughs> my brain just died. Okay. Uh I'm gonna fill this with a fourth of a cup of hot water. I don't know why I'm going insane right now. But anyway, as I was saying before, I think I'm making this cake for myself in celebration of the fact that I'm not sad for once. <laughs> a few weeks ago, my boyfriend broke up with me. That was great. If you want, I can insert a clip here of me crying. Isn't that just pathetic? I'm okay, I really am. I just had a little bit of breakdown because girl, life is hard. <laughs> Not to mention that I had an online class that took almost 12 hours every day to complete for seven weeks and I was just overwhelmed with emotions, schoolwork, my own problems on top of all that and yeah, I'm just a mess right now. So uh, welcome to my baking channel. <laughs> that is something I do all the time. I bake when I'm stressed. Does anybody else do that? Comment down below. <laughs> In high school, if I was stressed, I would just like bake my friend's brownies or bake my friend's cookies. I don't know what is, oh hi Titus. I don't know what is happening, but my brain is like going crazy and I just want to keep talking to myself. So you're going to get a lot of footage of me talking. Hopefully this is entertaining, not sad or pathetic. Now we are gonna cream the butter and shortening for about two minutes until light and fluffy. Oh. I've combined the majority of the stuff for the frosting. I just need to add the baking powder, uh, the confectionery sugar now. And um, the cakes are almost done. So that's exciting. And I'm just gonna focus on trying to get this done right now because my feet are killing me and it's really hot in my house. So <laughs> now enjoy this quick little uh, time lapse of me finishing the frosting. Look at these little babies. Hi, little cakes. So I'm gonna let those cool for about an hour because I don't 
don't want my icing to melt off. And I'm gonna put this giant bowl of icing in a fridge somewhere. So anyway, what I was going to say originally when I turned the camera on was that I'm going to separate these into bowls to color it. I think I'm gonna make some pink and some purple and then some leave some white. Sounds good. <laughs> so now I'm making the frosting and I have them separated into two bowls. So this is gonna be pink and this one's gonna be purple. And then this is gonna stay white and I'm just gonna use that as an overall frosting. So the frost, the dye that I'm using for the frosting is a violet icing color. This stuff is so like, it's so bright. It doesn't take much to make that show up.